And we're back. Thanks for tuning in with Co Show Live. We've got the Low Sundays. About to rip it up. Everybody, the Low Sundays. Woo, what's up? All right, this song is called Settle the Score.
cracking something. Bones cracking. All right. No seeds. It's 2023. <laughs> this uh, this song is called uh, "Come On Down." It's about everyone's like, keep up with the Joneses, and it's like, fuck that. <laughs> Very much so. show and everyone yeah, for, thank you everybody all the crew. All excellent this excellent time awesome. tasty jams now this is a, a little tune uh, now uh slinky yeah yeah this is a thanks for saying it's a good song or our song yeah yeah you know hope i hope you like it uh now so this is a song about you ain't got shit on me. So. <laughs>
Instruments. It's a true statement, Mr. Sean. Oh, I know. That's crazy. Um, we going fallen? Heavy or blues? Heavy or blues? Heavy. Heavy. The answer's been answered. This song is about drugs. And not the happy part. Like, by the end where you're sad. Kids, don't do them. What? You gonna pass out? Gabe's down. I was gonna say something bad. Uh, no, don't say nothing. <laughs> Gabe's not allowed to speak on this. You keep playing this till one of you finally drops. Oh, dude. It might nice. not take that long. <laughs> I know, Gabe, well, Gabe can go down quick, and then we can't get him up. That's the problem. That's the problem. He's down, you just leave him there till morning. Oh. He's invested <laughs> in a crane, maybe. <laughs> well, you can't get it down here. You're stuck. <laughs> you, you read my mind, Sean. It sounds like we're in a band together or something.
mom and daddy, you know what they say. Just like a fox, we're never ready to pay for very much thank you it's so cool once again big thanks to the co show great setup out here yeah man very very nice very nice very comfortable again we are the low sundays we're here we're doing our thing not to be confused with the high fridays yeah. only on fridays <laughs> Two more. All right, this is going to probably end up being the name of our new album that we'll be recording. It's called Reckless and Hostile. And if you don't live your life that way, you probably shouldn't. You'll live longer, but it'll be boring.
Once again, thank you guys so much. So hot and sweaty. Thank you for tuning in. I don't know if you're tuned in, but be tuned in. Um, we're tuning out, but that's okay. Too. Don't tune it out. Tune it in, baby. All right, this is going to be our last song for the evening. Thank you to the Co Show, and thank you for Joe Eats yeah. the Sun, and then thank you to everyone watching this. You guys are all fucking awesome. This song is about all the people that used to come to shows. They don't come to shows anymore. So what we do is we sing about those pieces of shit to the people that do come to shows. So, And we're angry because we're hurt, really, deep we're, down. Yeah. You know, That's we're the root sad. of anger. We're just sad. I don't care if you come to my show. Just go to shows. Go to a um, show. <laughs> go to a show. And now we're coming to you. No, no. <laughs> all right, so this song is called Watching Me Drowned. It's pretty appropriate.
Thanks, right. I appreciate it. God bless. Right. Get out there. Sure. Show somebody you love them. Woo. Have a blessed evening. Yeah. Take a second, low Sundays. Put your instrument down, take a sip. I'm gonna prepare my questions. Yeah, think I'm, think I'm ready. Think I'm ready. I'm just a sweaty bitch. Sweaty bastard. So uh, before before we uh, dive into things, can I have one of you introduce the band? Uh, we're the Low Sundays. Uh, this is Gabe Woodside on drums, Pat Sweeney on guitar, and I'm Sean Step. Doctor Sean Step. Doctor. Nice. Doctor. He's humble. He's humble about that. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, when I did some reconnaissance on you guys, I discovered you are playing an event called Sonar Fest. And can you tell me a little bit about Sonar Fest? Where is it and what's it all about? Uh, yeah, so it's going to be at um, Halftime Bar in Newark. And um, it's an all day festival. Uh, they're having. Two uh, days, I think they're doing yeah, it two day, Friday two and days. Saturday. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, Friday, they start at 5 p.m., they're going until about midnight. And then it's all day Saturday. We're playing around. Uh, like 2.45. On Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. Yeah. And, and it's all day, mix of different bands. Two big, touring bands. Yeah, are, two, are there, yeah, yeah, a couple touring bands from different areas. And it's just packed, like a stacked label uh, uh, show. And they got um, just a, a lot of heavier bands from local areas, uh, low followers, big followers. Mm -hmm. They got a whole I think the vibe day is that the, the two main bands are kind of doing a Northeast tour, but they put it out to get uh, local acts to open up for them. So we, that's how we, okay. got, we submitted our stuff and, uh, yeah, got a callback. So yeah. should be cool. And it's a good thing they're doing. They're supporting a ton of local acts, you know. Sure. Yeah. And, and that's and uh, August uh, 4th and 5th. Where's it happening again? At Halftime half Bar and Grill. Halftime, okay. And gotcha, that's, uh, gotcha. that's in Newark. I, I'm not 100% where it is, but if you look it up in Newark, Delaware, it's there. <laughs> it's a nice place. I feel like I've played there once upon a time. Once upon a time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm terrible at directions. I don't know nothing. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, um, Listening to you guys, I'm I'm really curious what some of your influences are. Like, I feel some Sabbath, and but like, what else we got going on here? Like, uh, I'm I'm, it's probably about I'm liking far, this. I'm as liking far the soup. As you get. Yeah, we we literally uh, all ha kind of have different styles, but kind of like the same style. Like, he's really more you know classic I'm, I'm rock. Classic stuff. rock oriented, uh, you know, like uh, Jimi Hendrix and like Michael Bolton. Yeah. Uh, right. CCR, like all the good you stuff, know, and, and stuff like that. We found this dude at a Deadhead show. Yep. Yeah. So. I'm actually, I'm a keyboard player. I played in a Grateful Dead cover band for four years in college. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I played keys in a Grateful Dead cover keys. band. Keys, all right. Yeah, so I still, you know, I think classic rock is where we all kind of find our, um, our, uh, you know, well, yeah, yeah. our common common ground. Um, yeah, know, I was like more punk, a punk and metal. Yeah, Sean played drums, and it's even funny. Our current instrumentation is so much different uh, than what we Sean grew up at playing punk drums for years. You know, yeah, yeah, I yeah. Played, never was a front man, and uh, yeah, I played. You can see how he's blossoming. Michelle, <laughs> <you know, laughs> man, it's yeah. great. No, yeah, I I played bass when I was 14 years old, just for fun, and uh, that was the only instrument I had lessons on. And then I went to the drummer and my uh, being the drummer and my bass teacher was pissed because he was like they all go to drummer you know what I mean? <laughs> they but, all uh, go to drummer yeah, yeah. so I, I went to playing drums and played that for like 20 years and then destroyed my shoulder <laughs> and uh, uh, I started writing stuff on acoustic and uh, I knew Pat for a while yeah, and uh, yeah and uh, uh, we met Gabe and just started jamming a little bit and Gabe was originally on bass and we had a fourth member and he ended up leaving the band and uh, Gabe was like, I'll try out drums, and I was I was the second guitarist, so I was like, I, I played bass when I was four. It was right, really so. a blessing, because yeah. I'm a much better drummer than bass player, and Sean's a much better bassist than guitar player. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we're like, this fits. This fits right. a little bit better. Yeah, it fits. But, yeah, it was but cool. what I love, too, is, is coming together in an original project with something. Um, you can hear most, I'd say, 90% of the lyrics are all Sean, you know? And yeah. we work together, and I, you know, coming from jam band territory, I music is no problem to me creatively but i struggle with the content 
And I think, you know, together, it's just been great. And then having Pat be able to just rip over top of it, it's, it's a good combination. Yeah. You know? I hear the lead. I'm like, okay, this is what's going to happen here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's cool. Cause I yeah, just... man, you're, you're flying like an eagle. <laughs> you sound great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. More, more than that, I come up with a concept and bring it to these guys, and then we make it our own all together. It'll be something totally different. It'll be like some folky jam song. And then I bring it to these guys, and we rock it out and make it its own monster. And that is where the fun comes, too, because I've worked in a lot of projects where, you know, it, it might be original music, but you're playing one guy's thing. And you, uh -huh. you know, it's one guy's vision, and that's cool, but he's sort of telling you when to solo, how long to solo. What You come with an Fair. idea, he's like, yeah. yeah, I don't really care about your ideas. Like, I don't feel that way at all in this band. Yeah. Um, and I think that's We're great. Really it makes it a lot more fun. <laughs> you know? I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm kind of the jerk who's like, I'm the guy who's like, no, you have to do what I tell you. <laughs> I'm like, I'm the worst. I'm well, the worst. That's what, if that's but it's what also, you're going into yeah. with the intention. Like, I play for a guy, uh, Red Smith is a great guy, but it's all his yeah. original music, you know? And sure. Even Red's that alumni being, here. Even he's that being played. said, yeah. he's totally open musically for interpretation, but it's like mm -hmm. I have that respect for him as an artist. It's like we, yeah. we are his band playing his tunes. And I love that, too, in its own right, but it's cool to do this in a different context as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I totally agree, and uh, I mean, you know, every, every group of people has a different way of pulling it out, right, yeah. you know? Absolutely, yeah. yeah um, we'll, we'll get together, Pat will throw up some crazy riff, and we'll be like, you know what, let's try to do this song. We, we got three new songs in the works that are nowhere near the style of these songs that we played tonight, <laughs> which only nice. two songs that we played tonight were from our first album, so mm -hmm. it's like... Yeah. yeah, so you guys see a lot of We're just, like, grinding. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I have to play a few songs a month at this point, pretty much. Yeah, try to. Yeah. All right, well, before we close out, any, th any parting words you want to say to the audience? No, well, thank you, big yeah. thanks, yeah. big thanks to uh, the first band. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe, Joe eats, eats the Sun. Eats the yeah. Sun, and, uh, was awesome, uh, man. Big thanks to the co-show. Everyone yeah. here is awesome. Yeah. Mike, everybody, it sounded there. great. Thank you to the sound. Yeah. Excellent, man. Um, check I out, we have it. a website. Check out thelowsundays.com. Uh, we're on all the socials, the Low Sundays. Sonar Fest. Sonar Milk Boy, Fest. Milk Boy. Oh, uh, yeah, we're playing Milk Boy, uh, Milk Boy on South. Yeah, we're playing Milk Boy. Small one. I didn't the know small there were one, two. Yeah, <laughs> but now we're playing the mm -hmm. uh, uh, Milk Boy on South, July twenty eighth, yeah. and then we're playing um, Sonar Fest August fifth. And uh, I appreciate you guys having us out here. And uh, we're peace and love. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Cool. It was great having you. Thank you. The Low Sundays. Joe eats the sun. It's been another great episode of Co Show Live. We'll see you next week. Thanks everybody. <laughs>